Not in a way. هذا سد مشق صاروخ معاد Hey everybody, Laura Loomer here. I'm currently standing in Bental at the top of the Golan Heights and uh, you can see behind me, uh, you know, this is where all of the action is taking place. Last night, uh, Iranian Syrian forces uh, filed 22 missiles uh, into the Golan Heights and, uh, you know, here we are. Uh, you can see this is Israel and the, it ends kind of at the, the, green, the green line and then 
behind me, uh, that's Syria. Uh, the international media is here already. We saw uh, BBC Canada over there. They're already uh, constructing their fake news reports. Uh, we overheard some of the reporters uh, saying, no, 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 you can't say things like that. And uh, there's uh, different reporters from all around the world here reporting because uh, this is where the action is taking place. Uh, I just spoke with several IDF soldiers who were here in the bunker last night and they told me that they're packing up their bags and they're returning to the base, but they are closely monitoring the situation. IDF is very vigilant, ready to defend, and is tracking the movements of the Iranian forces very closely, hoping and urging the Iranians not to escalate the situation further and to understand the message that we try to deliver this night or yesterday night that it is not in Iranian interest to attack Israel. Regarding escalation, earlier in a briefing you said that Israel is not interested in escalation, rather de-escalation. But uh, as was mentioned in our broadcast, this is one of the biggest uh, airstrikes in recent uh, in the recent years from Israel. Fifty targets struck. It seems like a, a fairly uh, massive strike. Is there not concerns that that in and of itself might be considered an escalation and might prompt a sort of response? Well, I think we should judge it by who is where. The Iranians are 1,600 kilometers away from Iran. We are home in Israel, defending our borders. That is the escalation. That is the context by which, by which we measure events here. And what we try to tell the Iranians, and we have said it very clearly in different languages at all of the levels of Israeli leadership, uh, we will not allow Iranian military infrastructure of the Quds Force led by Qasem Soleimani to go unchecked inside Syria and to menace Israeli civilians and to threaten the daily life of Israeli civilians. That will not happen. We will not allow it. And we will take the necessary steps to prevent it. Do you feel like that message was conveyed to the Iranians? It's still early to say how well that message was, was received and we'll still have to see how they understand the damage assessment of our retaliatory strike. I hope that they will understand that it is not within their interest to attack Israel and I hope that it will be clear enough for all of the other hostile entities around us. We do not seek to escalate the situation but we will defend ourselves, our citizens and our country vigorously if needed.